today I'm here to dig these potatoes. These potatoes were planted in the late summer as a late crop and I made a video when I planted these so if you want to have a look at that I'll put a link to it. I simply put down compost on top of the soil and planted these potatoes in that compost on top of the soil and then put straw over them. Now this is the first time that I've grown potatoes like that as a no dig potato so I'm really interested to see what they like. It's now mid-August which here in Tasmania that's technically still winter though around us we see a lot of signs of spring coming with the uh, wattles coming into flower and the buds beginning to swell. A little bit confusing here in Tassie sometimes at this time of the year as to whether it's still winter or whether it's spring because the plants start to move with the increasing daylight but in the mountains there's still snowfalls. We went up there this last weekend took the children just to show them that it wasn't really that cold at home. But things like these potatoes which have been storing really well over winter they'll keep nicely in the ground and not move. Now that those first signs of spring come they can actually begin to grow because within another two weeks so that's around the end of August here we can actually start to plant our spring potatoes so if I leave them any longer they are going to begin to grow so I need to get them out you'll notice there's a lot of wheat growth from the straw and I don't know that that was really a good thing that I just let that go. I probably should have pulled it out. But here where there was obviously one bale that didn't have as much wheat in it, you can actually see the stalks of the potatoes. And so that's going to be pretty easy to actually find them. In the places where there is more wheat, it's a little bit harder to find the stalks of the potato plants. But I'll just have to dig through it and see what we can find. Now here where the wheat wasn't growing and the potatoes grew really quite nicely over their growing season it's been really easy to find the potatoes moving the straw off I simply find the potatoes are sitting in the compost layer above the ground the ground is mostly clay underneath and that's still there you can still see that clay layer but yeah the potatoes are coming out quite easy you can dig them by hand uh, just sifting around amongst them this of course being the the autumn crop of the season it's not really the best time to grow potatoes and you don't get a very good crop from that late crop potatoes i usually find that it is significantly less than i would get from the summer season so if this had been the summer potatoes, I think this crop would have been a lot better. The other factor that tends to reduce the crop, I think, is that the seed potatoes available at that time of the year is often not the best. The seed that you have available is often old, uh, is certainly not commercial seed because that's not available that time of year. And so being a little old and tired, it doesn't produce such a good crop. But so far this is looking quite nice and uh, we'll see how it goes we get into the area that's got the wheat growing.
finally it's complete. Now, look, more than half of the potatoes, and by far the better quality ones, came from the area down the bottom there where there was no wheat growing. So allowing the wheat to grow obviously was a mistake. The wheat roots really matted into the compost, made it harder to dig, and obviously took quite a bit of nutrition from it that the potatoes then didn't get. Also moisture, I reckon, was a major factor that they were taking away. Also up this end, there was quite a lot of uh, tree roots coming in to feed, and they obviously thought I put it there for them. But that's going to be a secondary benefit, is that these trees will get some nutrition and perhaps produce a better crop because of it. Now, if I was just putting in this for these potatoes, of course, it would be a hugely expensive mistake. I mean, I put a whole meter of compost in here and there was around about five bales of straw in terms of mulching it. The amount of potatoes that I've harvested from it in no way repays that. But I will continue to use this bed in an ongoing basis now that it's here. I will continue to add more nutrition to it. That will feed the trees, but also crops that I will grow over the continuing season. I'm not sure what I'm going to, going to grow here this summer. Uh, I'm thinking maybe some pumpkins, or I may try something else. I still have to uh, make a decision on that. Would I grow potatoes like this again? Yes, I would. If you actually make sure that you don't have this growth of the wheat, so better to use a mulch that doesn't have anything that's going to grow. So whether that is uh, sugarcane mulch or some broken down all in wood chip. Of course, your ability to grow this way really does depend on having materials available. And I think sometimes it's easy to say we can use no dig methods, but if you don't have lots of compost or mulch available, then it's really difficult. And digging is the only option. So I'm not totally opposed to digging because I think practically speaking, so often you have to do it because let's face it, we don't all have those um, materials available to us. But if you do, it's great, use them, and you'll get an easy crop and a good one. Here, I actually had potatoes growing last summer. And because I had so many from the major crop that I'd planted, I didn't actually get to harvest these. And so I thought I'd put some black plastic over them to keep them a little bit drier so they would be easier to dig in the winter. But I still didn't get to dig them. So at this point, which is mid-August, so that's late winter here in Tasmania, with the black plastic over them, they have begun to grow already. And it looks like they've started to grow probably a month ago. It's way too late to dig them, of course, with this much advanced growth on them. So what I'm actually going to do is just let them grow. Of course I know it's not ideal that the potatoes are growing in the same place year after year, but I don't have a lot of choices here. While the black plastic, uh, as a means of keeping the ground drier, may have worked if I'd come back earlier and dug them, here it has actually worked as an accelerant for this growth because it's actually kept the ground warmer and brought the growth on earlier. So what this may give me is a very early crop of potatoes. Of course there is the risk because it is so early that they will get a frost on them and that may damage them. But we'll just have to hope for the best that we don't get too many heavy frosts. And I think in this location they are not very likely to get burnt severely. But if it gives me a crop of potatoes that's ready to harvest uh, in the end of November or early December, that would probably be a month earlier than usual and would be really welcome. 